Hello, I'm Diana Saavedra, Superintendent of the El Paso Independent School District. Welcome to the September 2022 edition of Dialogue with Diana, our monthly catch up with the latest info, tidbits, and news from throughout the district. Let's get started. I'm standing in our El Paso Fine Arts Gallery at Central Office, 1014 North Stanton. The Hearts That Heal exhibition will be on display through November the 4th. Come by and check out the work of our talented students. Speaking of talent, two current El Paso ISD students, Dina Aldawi from Coronado High School and Anna Dixon from Franklin High School have each been named as National Merit Scholarship semifinalists. They are the only students from El Paso County to receive the honor, a tribute to both of their talents and a shining example of El Paso ISD's vision to offer premier educational opportunities. Congratulations to both of you. The Board of Trustees had its monthly meeting this week where they discussed and acted on several important issues impacting the entire school district. Here's a quick rundown. The board approved the internship affiliation agreement with the University of Texas at El Paso to provide high quality learning experiences for the university's teacher and graduate level interns. This program has been a great resource for us to recruit and mentor our new teachers. Change presents challenges, but we are here to work collaboratively through them. During public comment, the board heard community feedback regarding the eight multi-age classrooms. Resources and support are in place. Professional development is ongoing. And together, we will embrace this change to benefit our students. The board further discussed our commitment to wraparound services and mental health support. Our multi-tiered approach includes counseling services, military-connected support, telehealth services, and much more. We are also looking to expand community schools and social supports across the district. The board approved Mr. Manuel Verduzco as the new superintendent of information security and technology. He comes with a wealth of experience as we elevate our technology services to fill the needs of the district. Congratulations. Lastly, I'm honored to be part of the second cohort of the Holdsworth Center Superintendent Leadership Program, which is devoted to strengthening Texas schools by developing leaders. I look forward to participating and bringing back to El Paso ISD the knowledge provided through this incredible opportunity. Well, that's it for this edition of Dialogue with Yana. As fall intercession approaches, I ask everyone to take this time for a little self-care and focus on coming back renewed and ready to work. You're all caught up. Hasta pronto. Okay.